Good morning everyone, how are you? Welcome at Autodomon International School. Today we have reading. So, today's lesson is Alexander Graham Bell. We are going to start our new story or our new selection. Its title is Alexander Graham Bell. We have some instructions, you should follow it. Number one, listen to this video carefully. Listen to this explanation carefully. Open and answer Reader's and Writer's Notebook, page 570. Then, check your answers. After that, give a start to each correct answer. Here, our new lesson today is about Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell is a great inventor. Again, Alexander Graham Bell is a great inventor. In this selection, we will see how can a great idea change the way we live. Who is Alexander Graham Bell? Alexander Graham Bell was the first person who invented the telephone. This story written by Lynn Blanton, the author of this story is Lynn Blanton, illustrated by Guy Francis. Illustrated means the person who draws those pictures for this story. The kind of this selection is biography. Again, biography. Again, biography. Biography is non-fiction story. It is a real story that tells about person's life. Here in this story we'll talk about the life of one person. Which person? His name is Alexander Graham Bell, the phone inventor. So the genre of this story is biography. Again, biography. Biography is non-fiction story. It is a real story. It tells about person's life. Now, we will read about Alexander Graham Bell, the man who invented the telephone. Here, let's start with this song. Try to sing with me. If we didn't have electric light, would be in darkness every night. If it wasn't for the telephone, what often sit at home alone. And if there was no elevator, would reach the top floor much, much later. You know the meaning of light, darkness, telephone, home, alone. Here we have a new word, it's called elevator. Look. This is elevator. If you don't want to go upstairs by using your legs, you will enter the elevator. Elevator. Repeat after me. Elevator. So let's read it again. If we didn't have electric light, would be in darkness every night. If it wasn't for the telephone, would often sit at home alone, and if it, there was no elevator, would reach the top floor much, much later. One more time. If we didn't have electric light, would be in darkness every night. If it wasn't for the telephone, would often sit at home alone. If it, there was no elevator, would reach the top floor much, much later. Here, we have some new words like electric light. Electric light, as we say, I think you talk it in science, like the lamp that gives us light at night. Without this lamp or without electric light or electric bulb, we will sit in darkness. So, the light is very important. Here, it wasn't for the telephone. The telephone helps us to communicate people. 
they are far away. Like me, I'm here, I'm living in Saudi Arabia and my mom is in Egypt. How can I communicate with my mom by using the phone? I will call her, I will talk to her, I can communicate with her. Here elevator that you can use it to go upstairs without your legs. With elevator you can reach the top floor very very fast. Without elevator you can reach the top floor much much later. Light bulb or electric light, the telephone, the elevator, those are most important inventions in our life here will complete our story today is about Alexander Graham Bell again Alexander Graham Bell Alexander Graham Bell let's see the high frequency words here the difference between the phone nowadays and the phone in the past it looked like that in the past and nowadays we can use the touch phone here we are talking about the great inventor alexander graham bell he was born in march 3rd in 1847 in scotland he died in august 2nd in 1922 the first word for today is signs. A bit after me. Signs again. Signs. Signs is a study about living and non-living things. And I think all of you love signs that teacher Sarah and teacher Shireen are teaching you signs. So science is a subject. Do you like science subject? Tell me. Science is a study about living and non-living things. Do you like science subject? Here, the second word is learn. The second word is learn. To get knowledge. To get knowledge. All of us can learn anytime and everywhere and anywhere. Even me, I'm your teacher but I'm still learning. So, learn to get knowledge. I'm learning how to read. I'm learning how to speak in English. I'm learning how to write. So, the second word is learn, learn. After that, we have throw. A bit after me, th th throw, throw, throw. Throw means moving in from one side to another side. Again, moving in from one side to another side. Like this boy, he's moving from this side to another side. I entered my house through the door. I entered my house through the door. Throw means I was outside and I entered inside through wet through the door a bit after me throw throw number four built 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 is the past of the verb build we have here this verb ends with t it is the past of the verb build ends with d Look at this picture. She built a house. She makes it step by step. She built a house. Okay, let's see. Here. Our story is Alexander Graham Bell. A bit after me, Alexander Graham Bell. What famous invention did he make? He invented which invention? He invented the telephone. Again, the telephone. Again, the telephone. The first phone was 
that one. So who invented the telephone? His name is Alexander Graham Bell. Okay. Where did he live? He lived where? In which place? In which country? He lived in Scotland. Scotland. When did he make his famous invention? He invented the phone in which year? In 1876. Again, 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented the phone. Why are phones helpful? As I told you, why we are using our phones? Like this time, we have coronavirus all over the world, in all countries. And if we don't have phones, we can communicate like, uh, like now? No. If we don't have phones, I can send for you videos. No. I can know what you are doing. No. So, phones are very helpful. Very important invention. It can help us to communicate, to connect, to Why learn. are phones helpful? Here, they help us to communicate. They help us communicate. Here, let's turn back to our story, Alexander Graham Bell, by Lynn Blanton, the author or the writer of this story, illustrated by Guy Francis. Illustrated means the person who draws these pictures for this story. We have here the question of the week. How can a great idea change the way we live? Again, how can great idea change the way we live? Let's answer this question here. We will compare between computer and telephone. Computer, how can computer change our lives? It can help us learn. Yes, of course, we can learn by using computers. Here, we can spend too much time on it. And this not good for you. As children, you cannot spend too much time on computers. Here, we'll see telephones. Telephone let us talk to people who are far away. Your dad is outside and you need something from him. You will call him by using what? Phone. So, phone can let you talk to people who are far away. Alexander Graham Bell. Let's read just two pages. Here, the genre of this story is biography. Again, biography. Biography is non-fiction story, means it is a real story. It tells us about the story of person's life. We are talking about person's life. Which person we are talking about? We are talking about Alexander Graham Bell. So, in this selection, we are reading about Alexander Graham Bell, the man who invented the telephone. What do you want to find out? We will see the first page Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland in 1847 to be easy for you read the date like me 1847 divide it in two ways here 18 here 47 so 1847 again Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland in 1847. His family called him Alec for a short time. His mom was deaf. You know the meaning of deaf? Deaf means she cannot hear. She have ears like us, but she cannot hear. If you talk to her, she cannot hear you, so she will not answer you. His dad helped deaf boys and girls learn how to speak. So, Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland. His family called him Alec. His mom was deaf. 
and his dad helped their boys and girls to learn how to speak. Let's see this timeline. Here, early life. In 1847, he was born in Scotland. In 1861, he invents sweet the Husker. In 1863, he teaches music at school for boys. In 1863, he teaches speech for deaf children. Let me read it again. Follow me. Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland in 1847. His family called him Alec for short. His mom was deaf. His dad helped their boys and girls learn how to speak. Turn the second page, 178. Alec liked playing music. His mom taught him how to play the piano at an early age. She couldn't hear, but that didn't stop her. She played quite well. Soon Alec started teaching others how to play. One more time, Alec liked playing music. His mom taught him how to play the piano at an early age. His mom was deaf, as I said to you. She couldn't hear, yes we know, but she or that didn't stop her. She played very well. Soon, Alec started teaching others how to play piano. Here in this picture, we'll see his dad and other deaf boys and girls. Alec's dad helped deaf boys and girls learn to speak well. Again, Alec's dad helped deaf boys and girls learn to speak well. Alec liked watching his dad teach. He decided he wanted to teach speech to deaf people too, just like his dad. We'll stop here, then open your readers and writers notebook page 570. Number one, we have many words, we'll choose the correct word to the correct answer. Many boys and girls like, which word is it? Many boys and girls like science. So we'll write here, science. This one like that. Here with red. So, many boys and girls like signs. Number two, we space about plants. We learn about plants. We learn. Learn means gain knowledge. Know something new. So, here you will write learn learn that's it write it with me great job here here we get up early to see the sunrise we get up early early I will write it easy E A R L Y you will put the letters in order to make the correct word we space a little car we built built means we did it we make it built built is a verb which is in the past this is i built 
the past of the verb build. We lock throw the glass. Throw, throw, T H R O U G H. Read the first two pages in this story, Alexander Grumble. And tomorrow, inshallah, we will complete. Thank you so much. Goodbye.